Hi everyone, after several failed attempts of removing the grime from my front load washer, I decided to do a deep clean by tearing open the machine and the drum assembly. My washer is an LG WM2501HVA. So as not to bore you too much, I'm going to speed through the process. Let's get started by disconnecting power, the water lines, drain holes, and locating the machine where you can get access to all four sides. Remove the back cover by removing the four screws and then sliding the cover up and pulling the bottom away from the machine. Use a 17 millimeter socket to loosen the rotor bolt. Quickly jerk to loosen the bolt. If that doesn't work, try using a breaker bar to give yourself more leverage. Hold the rotor with your other hand. Then remove the rotor bolt. Use both hands to remove the rotor from the machine. You have to pull hard enough to release the magnets. Remove the five screws to free the wire harness. Take note of the top of the stator and the connectors. Use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the six stator bolts. Disconnect the wire connectors. You may need to use a small screwdriver to disengage the tabs on the larger connector. Disconnect the rear shock absorber from the drum by removing the plastic pig with a 12 millimeter wrench and large tongue and groove pliers. Pull the shock absorber away from the drum. Here's a better look of the plastic pig and locking tab. Remove the air pressure holes with the use of a small flat blade screwdriver. I recommend removing the air chamber at this time. I didn't do this until after I lowered one side of the drum assembly and noticed that the air chamber could be damaged when I lowered the other side. Remove the two screws from the two rear lid brackets. Slide the lid back about an inch and then remove the lid. Remove the four screws holding the mounting bar. For other washing machines, check out an appliance parts website like appliancepartspros.com. Enter your model number and check out their videos. Dismount the steam generator by removing the two screws from the mounting bar. Remove the detergent dispenser drawer and the two screws on each side of the detergent dispenser drawer opening. Remove the screw behind the right side of the control panel. Disengage the tabs at the top of the control panel and lift the control panel out of the way. Remove the drain filter door, screw, and housing. Remove the screw below the drain filter and open the washer door. With a flat blade screwdriver, pry out the spring for the door seal clamp and remove the clamp from the door seal. Take note of how the seal is installed on the door opening. You'll need to reinstall this later. Remove the door seal and tuck it into the opening. Reach behind the door switch and disconnect the connector. Close the door and remove the five screws above the door. Before removing the last screw, hold the door panel so it doesn't fall towards you. Lift off the door panel. Place a bucket under the drain holes, unplug the holes and drain out any water. Place a towel under the pump to tub holes. Remove the clamp and holes from the pump with a pair of slip joint pliers. Remove the plugs for the thermistor and heater. Note the red wire on the left and yellow wire on the right. Remove the ground wire with a 10 millimeter socket. Cut the zip tie to remove the wire harness from the outer drum. With a pair of pliers, release the clamps and remove the two hoses from the top of the door seal. Make note of where each hose goes. In this case, the darker hose goes on the left and the lighter on the right. With a pair of diagonal cutters, cut off the zip tie and remove the light assembly. With a long Phillips screwdriver, loosen the hose clamp and disconnect the detergent dispenser hose. Remove the drain vent hose. On top of the drum, loosen the hose clamp and disconnect the vent hose. Remove the top counterbalance weight by removing the four screws with the 10 millimeter socket. Be careful, the counterbalance weight is heavy. Then remove the bottom counterbalance weight. Using the 12 millimeter wrench and pliers again, remove the plastic peg from the front right shock absorber and push the shock absorber out of the way. Do the same for the front left shock absorber. 
For this one, I had to use the open side of the wrench to push down on the locking tab. Lowering the drum is the next step. I recommend placing blocks under the drum to prevent the weight of the drum from crushing anything below. Remove the spring safety clip with a flat blade screwdriver. Lift the left suspension spring, remove it from the mounting hole, and slowly lower the drum. Standing on a step stool made it easier to lift the suspension springs. Remove the other end of the suspension spring from the drum. Remove the right suspension spring in the same way. If you find this video helpful, please click the like button and drop a comment. Here's a view of the drum being lowered onto the blocks. Remove the drum assembly from the chassis. Sorry, I forgot to press the record button. Place the drum assembly on supports and use a 10mm socket with extensions to remove the 16 bolts. Remove the front half of the drum assembly. Look at the built up grime after years of neglect. Several tub cleanings with AFresh and Plink tablet cleaners could not remove this grime. I was not able to separate the inner drum from the back half of the drum assembly. I tried to dislodge the shaft from the bearings with penetrating oil, placing a 2x4 on the end of the shaft and hitting it with a hammer. That failed and I stopped before I damaged the outer drum. I proceeded to plan B which was to clean the inner and outer drum surfaces as best I could. I thought of using a pressure washer but found that the grind came off easily with a green scrub pad soaked with water and laundry detergent. I was able to reach the bottom portion of the inner drum at the bottom of the outer drum where the heating elements are located. The result was night and day. I removed the detergent dispenser holes and a drum to drain pump holes from the drum assembly. Here are before and after looks at the drum to drain pump holes. The detergent dispenser holes was cleaned in an earlier video. I ran over to the local appliance parts store and picked up a replacement drum gasket. I noticed that the original gasket had a split in it and I guess it didn't matter because the split was positioned near the top of the drum. Remove the old gasket and install the new gasket. Now put everything back together. Reinstall the front half of the drum onto the back half of the drum assembly. Reinstall the 16 bolts and tighten securely. Place the drum assembly back into the chassis. Reinstall the left and then right suspension springs and resecure the safety clips. Reinstall the drum to drain pump holes to the drum. A little larger detergent will make it easier to slip the holes on. Reinstall the front shock absorbers. Reconnect the holes to the drain pump. Reinstall the bottom, then top counterbalance weights. Reinstall the light assembly and secure with a zip tie. Reinstall the two hoses at the top of the door seal. Reconnect the heater, thermistor, and ground wires. Resecure the wire harness to the drum with a zip tie. Reinstall the air chamber and reconnect the air pressure holes. Reinstall the rear shock absorber. Reconnect the two connectors onto the stator and reinstall the stator with the six bolts. Resecure the wire harness and ground wire. Reinstall the rotor and place blue removable thread locker onto the threads of the rotor bolt. Tighten the rotor bolt by quickly jerking the bolt clockwise or use a breaker bar for more leverage. Reinstall the back access panel and secure with the four screws. 
Reinstall the front door panel and secure with the five screws at the top of the panel. Reinstall the bottom mounting screw, drain filter housing, and door. Reach in and reconnect the door switch. Reinstall the door seal onto the lip of the door opening. Reinstall the seal clamp into the groove with the spring at the bottom of the seal. Use a long nose pliers to grab one side of the spring, pull the spring to the side, and finish inserting the clamp into the groove. Verify that the seal and clamp are installed correctly. Reinstall the control panel and secure with the two screws on either side of the detergent dispenser opening and the screw behind the right side of the control panel. Reinstall the laundry detergent drawer. Reinstall the vent holes at the top of the drum. Reinstall the detergent dispenser holes and clamps. Connect one end to the detergent dispenser. and the other end to the drum. Reconnect the drain vent holes. Reinstall the steam generator and the mounting bar. Secure the mounting bar with four screws and the steam generator with two. Reinstall the lid and secure with the two lid mounting screws. Reconnect the water lines, plug in the power cord, position the drain holes into a sink or drain, and test the washing machine. After the wash cycle is done, check for leaks. This was a lot of work, but was my fault for neglecting to properly clean the unit for several years. Live and learn. Again, if this video was helpful, please click the like button and drop a comment.